Hi and how are you all today? Let us start with the question. It says find the principal and the general solution of the following equation. Now the value of cosec x is given to us as minus 2. Let us start with our solution. Now first of all we need to think that if we are given the value of cosec x as negative that means x lies in third and fourth quadrant. Right? So, let us find out the value of cos x in the third and the fourth quadrant. Cos x is equal to minus 2 is equal to cos sec pi plus pi by 6. Since it is in the third quadrant, we will be adding it to pi to make it in the third quadrant. And it comes out to be cosec 7 pi by 6. Right? Similarly, we will be finding the value of cosec x in the fourth quadrant. So that will be cosec. Now, it will be 2 pi minus pi by 6. As it is in the fourth quadrant, we will be subtracting it from 2 by 6. 2 pi and the answer comes out to be cosec 11 pi by 6. Right. So that means the principal solution of x in the third quadrant is 7 pi by 6 and in the fourth quadrant it is 11 pi by 6. Right, proceeding on to find the general solution it will be x is equal to as cosec x is equal to 1 by sin x that means x is never equal to n pi. So it will be n pi plus minus 1 to the power n y that will be 7 pi by 6 and this is the general solution in case of cosec x where we write it as x is equal to n pi plus minus 1 to the power n and we will include y in it where y is 7 pi by 6 and also where n belongs to the set of integers. Right, so this answers the question that was given to us. I hope you enjoyed the session and do remember how to find out the principal solution and the general solution. Bye for now.